Okay, I just picked this load up. <clears throat> right up the road and uh, drove down here to Walmart. Had to go grab a couple things, but uh, walk you guys around and show you what I got. It's a, uh, a spike puller for the railroad. And I'm in Wisconsin and it's going to uh, Pennsylvania. Little run over the weekend, but uh, yeah, I'll just show you what, uh, what I got for securement. They told me to use these uh, as my securement points. So uh, as you can see, I got one pulling each way on the front, on both sides identical, and then crisscross on the back pulling backwards. So I got two pulling back and one pulling forward. All of my tie downs or direct tie downs just going to one point and back to the rub rail or to a chain pocket. But I have six points of uh, contact. The load only weighs 19,000 pounds, so I'm legal. It's a legal load, nothing sticks off. The front, sides, back, none of that. It's all in there. See where I crisscrossed it under here? I just went from this side across to a chain pocket like this on the other side. I put a little piece of rubber in between my chains where they connect so they're not uh, rubbing against each other. Walk you guys around the other side so you can see uh, pretty much the same thing as this side. But yeah, it's an easy load. Uh, over the weekend, I'll be there tomorrow and I'll uh, just relax and hang out. I haven't made a video on my trailer yet, so uh, I'll make that one coming soon. Whenever I'm empty and I have a little time, do a walk around and uh, talk about my trailer. But I'm just showing you what I got loaded. I'm getting ready to uh, finish up uh, eating and uh, head out. Also, you can see I wrapped all my chains up, just pretty much wrapped them up and bungeed them down. I bungeed my uh, ratchet arms in, holding everything in nice and tight all the way around. Everything's held in nice and good, so uh, shouldn't have no problem with DOT. But it's an easy load, you can't even feel it. Super light. Getting ready to head out.
quick walk around since I untarped it uh, about to deliver pretty much all of it to my second stop uh, I got one more stop after this but it's only one piece to stay on <clears throat> so it's just a bunch of tubing steel pretty much that sorts you can see here we uh made a bulkhead I mean uh, a leveler out of a uh, pallets which was super sketchy but uh I didn't bring any dunnage with me since when I left home and I hadn't had a chance to uh, they tell, didn't tell me I needed any when I went to pick this load up otherwise I would have stopped and bought some some uh, cross ties and some uh, four by fours but I guess they done this before they said for other guys so they just put some pallets on there and uh, put some wood across it held all the way down here which was great but uh here at the front i only have three winches on on my top step so i just put all three of them on there wanted to hold it nice and tight this one i didn't put super tight because i didn't want to pull them down and bend them i put this uh two inch around just kind of keep it sucked together just in case one of them tried to drop down through the pallet that will hopefully prevent it and uh, I think it actually helped on the way down because uh, it easily could have uh, went through any part of that pallet but uh, I put two over the sides just to hold that pallet in nice and good and back here I already dropped off one and one it was a uh, round tubing on this corner and that corner a bundle of each and uh, all my straps are the same so I pretty much put uh, one, two, three, four, five, six straps on the back. One, two, three, four, five, six on the front. It was 45,000 pounds. Uh, actually lighter than I expected for my truck and trailer. I was only 76 gross. And uh, I was 28 on my drives and 36 on my trailer. So I was sitting pretty good. So surprised me there. I still need to get an empty weight just to see how much my truck and trailer weigh. I guess it's lighter than I expected. But yeah, uh, spots like this, I put some rubber because it was a uh, pinning. That's my last stop. That's the only piece going to stay on. put some rubber on this side because you want to protect your straps and that corner would have cut right through that strap i done the same on the pallets on the other side as this side because it would have cut through my straps so i wanted to prevent that but yeah that's uh pretty much all coming off here um and then on to our last stop and then we'll see what we're getting next.